All right, so Alberto just pulled the trans on the Z. As we suspected, it is a broken input shaft. Well, that's not a broken input shaft. What is it? That's my new coach alignment tool. Oh, funny guy. <laughs> so if you look in here, broke right off. How crazy is that? Hopefully it didn't damage anything, but it doesn't look like it did. And we'll save this trans since it is a good trans and maybe we'll be able to use a clutch uh, and we will be able to use an input shaft off another trans that I break in the future. I guess since I never formally said uh, welcome to this video, welcome to this video. I did forget my camera at home and I was planning on taking the day off from filming, but there are a couple things I want to update you on before it gets chaotic tomorrow. Uh, one thing, I already showed you guys what happened to the transmission on the 370Z. Shulman just gave the Supra her very, very first wash. And um, I just gotta say, like, I'm really, really happy with the pearl white. I love this color. I think on cars with bigger brakes where you can actually, like, kind of have the brakes stand out by having black wheels, like, it, it kind of works. It makes a car... What's up? You're good. At nighttime, like, in, like, certain lighting, like, it has like, a really weird, like, shade of, like, almost, like, black... Or you can see the pearl really pops in like certain lighting, it's really good. Just a simple, nice, clean car. I just, I love the fat tire look, being like super low on super fat tires. This is definitely like a me build right now. I don't think I'm gonna go wide body or anything, but what I wanna show you guys is gonna have to swap with this. So I'm gonna pull this car out real quick and pull in the car that I really wanna talk about. Forgot about this thing. I know. I've seen since May. Since May. I know. Okay, so here's what's been going on. Obviously, uh, you guys already know that Pat and Tommy went up to bring a bunch of the cars down, but the GT3 has been missing, and here's why. So before the car even got to our warehouse, I actually had Tommy take it straight over to Billy over at Presidential Auto Detailing, where me, him, and Matt all got the car dialed in last time, if you guys remember those video series. Because since I got the car, I've done something like seven track days, I drove through the mountains, and the front film that I had on the bumper, as well as I think one or two spots on the hood, got a couple little chips in the PPF. If you guys remember, the front and like main areas that get damaged were wrapped in SunTech Ultra, but since this car was wrapped, they came out with an even thicker film that's like double the thickness, specifically for cars that are tracked and cars that are driven in scenarios where they're more susceptible to rock chips. So, I had Billy go ahead and remove the old film, and he worked with Auto Paint Guard, and had them redo all the areas that were damaged and all the high impact areas with the new SunTech extra thick film and look at this clarity, like this is a clear film over my paint and it looks better than the paint on 90% of my cars. The rocker guards, we did have two layers on and those are redone now, so I just, uh, not that I was like super annoyed with the car, but it was just kind of getting to the point where there are lots of little things that were bothering me. And another thing that Auto Paint Guard helped me out with, we switched the window film, because before I had this window film on it and I wasn't really crazy about it, the window looked like I had a, a screen protector film on it, with a bunch of bubbles and dust underneath it because there was dust underneath it and the window always looked dirty. So Auto Paint Guard was able to do a brand new film for me. This is a different film. I'm not 100% positive what brand it is. I will put it in the video though to let you guys know in case you are interested and do want to know the details. Um, but it looks a lot better just right now and uh, I'm sure I'll notice it a lot more when it's sunny out before it used to it just looked like someone like spat up all over my windshield. That's how bad it is. But the number one thing that bothered me the most that I'm super, super thankful Billy at Presidential Auto Detailing was able to sort out for me. Very, very cheap price, and I don't want to know why it was so cheap, but it looks great. Uh, he got my trunk fixed. So if you guys remember, um, there was a whole big ordeal where my trunk was actually hit, and there was a big, like, split and tear in my trunk right around this area. Right now, like, you would not be able to tell if I didn't make a YouTube video that had hundreds of thousands of views talking about it. No one would ever know. And uh, yeah, so in case you don't remember what happened, a lot of people were confused and trying to like make it sound like I was uh, like lying about maybe backing into something. Um, I was convinced that it happened in this like big Y parking lot because that's when I noticed it. But later on, we realized, actually a lot of you guys realized it was already damaged in a clip that I filmed earlier that day. And then I had pictures that my dad posed in front of the car to use on one of his like profiles because my dad's a G. Um, and it didn't have the damage there. So I realized that between that and when it was damaged in my driveway, the only place that I had been was a Starbucks parking lot that was really tight in Newtown. If you guys have ever been there, it's a super, super tiny parking lot. 
So I'm pretty sure that's actually where it got backed into. And somehow it only damaged the trunk and nothing else. But it was this little dumb spot that everyone always brought up to me and it drove me nuts. So I'm stoked that uh, I don't have to look at that and deal with that anymore. And now the car looks great. So after uh, the new areas were wrapped, it was gone over again by Billy with SunTech Ultra. It's the same coating that's on this whole car. Looks great, makes it super easy to wash, but I'm excited to have this thing back. I don't know what I'm gonna do with it down here yet, but there's no point in having it up north in the winter. And obviously if we're doing the open house and I wanna have all my cars here, this thing's a must. So there's your little DD3 update. Obviously thankful to all the people involved in helping this thing get super rad. Pat just got back with it from Tampa and I'm excited to get to drive it around again. And one other thing, I don't know if you guys noticed in the beginning of the other video, Alberto mentioned DT3 lip in this box right here is a brand new OEM Porsche front lip. Look at this thing. So you would think that this car being a Porsche and being a very expensive Porsche at that, it would be very expensive to buy a replacement lip for. And I was being also driven nuts by my perfect car having a little like scuff in the front lip. I think I hit a piece of drywall or something in the Smoky Mountains. A brand new OEM lip for a GT3 RS direct from Porsche, $340. That's absurdly cheap for something like this. So uh, I guess Porsche views them as a consumable because a lot of people mess them up on their cars and stuff. And they're actually kind enough to sell them for a decent price. So that's very cool. And uh, now I'll get to have a fresh new lip on my car. No DIY. I think I can figure out how to do this just by looking at it. And I think I can do it without even putting the car on the lift. Let's see how easy a Porsche GT3 RS lift is to change in a drift car garage. Join me soon. All right, so we got one. T30 bolt. Now let's go to the other side. I'm assuming, you know, Porsche loves symmetry. So it's doing wheels in the middle. There is another T30 on the side. All right, we'll loosen her up. And then I think it's gonna be one of those situations where we can just give her a good old tug and she'll come out. Little tug? There's a good old little tug. Whoa. Little tug job. Little tug and tug, brother. All right, let's see. Does she like the tug? Oh. I think that should be all it needs. Alright. Oh, it might look cool without that. Oh, jeez. Mm. I'm like kind of scared of like breaking these pins, but also not because. Race car? Hmm. I'm gonna do stuff on the other side. It's just like the, the dirt and sand in it. It's just making me anxious. Mm. Oh, that's it. It's happening. Yeah, Two bolts. Look at that. Jeez. Does not look cool, huh? Yeah, you need it. That has to go on oh right now. Oh my god, it looks like a. No, put it on. Put it on. I can't be seeing this. Ugh. Ugh. I can't. I can't even. No. 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 <laughs> you pull it up. Uh, no, hold on a second. Easiest thing I've ever done as I struggle. <laughs> Like it just pushes in just like that. How cool is this? Now you guys know if you ever want to steal a GG3 RS lift. I know I already told, taught you guys how to steal the corner lights off a GG3 RS, but now you know how to steal a front lip off a GT3 RS. Uh, this part actually looks like it might be kind of... Now you know. Now you know fit. Eek. There we go. There it is. It's just a... just a snug fit. Oh, look at that. Uh -huh. That's crazy. Oh my god, it's so much better! It's a new car! I'm really just getting ready to sell it. Jesus. Take it to CarMax. Yeah, yeah, girl. <laughs> we should do that for a prank or something. Uh, dude, no one's ever done that on YouTube before. That's a sick They'd be like, 40 grand? No. Billy just texted me. It is a clear plex front windshield film. That's it. That's it, that's all he, that's all he said. <laughs> all right, so today's video has started kind of late because we've been doing meetings about open house stuff and trying to sort all that stuff out, which I will fill you guys in probably later this week. Before we do anything, this thing right here is probably one of my favorite cars right now and I want Tommy to experience it. I know you're a super hater, but I think you're gonna like it. I don't hate them, I just haven't been in one. I haven't driven one or anything, so I'll, I'll I want think I think this is a, a pretty good example, so we'll take it out. Tommy, do you have money? Because I lost my wallet. Yes. I'll pay you back. Does it feel like as smooth as the Porsche or is it kind of like more violent? It's it's definitely smoother, but it's like a, it feels like you're driving like a stock BMW. Like it's very cushy and everything's muddy down. So it's not like a very like raw 
feeling, mm. but it's still good. For like an auto trans, it doesn't feel like a complete slush box. Jeez. Right? <laughs> <laughs> when I first stepped on it after doing full bolt-ons, it like caught me off guard. I was like, what? Just like a bolt-on car, stock turbo. I understand why this car is automatic. It's so fun. Dude, it's that's so sick. Right? Oh man. Wait till you drive it. This this shouldn't be allowed on the road. I know, it's just insane, right? <laughs> like, oh dude, like. We got the line, so today I can actually do the big brakes on the Z, and I got some other parts, so this thing's gonna turn into a better street car. Uh, the goal with it right now, um, there's a drag racing day tomorrow. I wanna take it and see what it'll run down the quarter mile. And if it stays together, I really wanna pick my dad up from the airport in this thing. I think it'd be uh, a pretty cool thing to do, so. What do you think? Pick my dad up from the airport in the Z? It's gonna be true, for sure. You think uh, TSA will care? Uh, Spitting flames at the airport? I can't guarantee that. <laughs> they might be like, this car is a weapon, sir! Sir! All right. <laughs> yeah, we get pulled over at the airport. Cause <laughs> Homeland security. All right, so we got new rotors that are falling on the ground. Nothing special, just some cheap boys that uh, we got from O'Reilly since we have a commercial account there. Um, but they'll do the trick. Down the road, if I'm really looking to shave time for the drag strip, I could get some like lightweight two-piece rotors and that would kind of kill some rotational mass. But if I'm running street wheels in the front and this is just more for uh, stopping on the road, I'm not sweating it. All right, the beauties are coming on. I still gotta put pads in these things, but woo, that's gonna look good. I love nice little OEM Plus upgrades like this, especially when they're pretty. I hate that noise. This reminds me of going to the dentist when you get a filling and they go in your teeth. Oh, I hate that. Was your teeth that bad? Oh, I got a lot of fillings. I think I lost most of my teeth that had fillings in them. Like, like I, they're baby teeth, but. So what Alberto's doing right now, if you guys remember, I had an intake manifold leak on my Skyline between the two adapter plates. I guess we learned that you need to roughen up those surfaces before you seal them. Otherwise, the silicone just pushes out. So he's doing that now, and he decided to do that out of the car because it'd be a lot easier than doing it in the car because it's like a jigsaw puzzle trying to get that intake manifold off. So um, there are a couple other little leaks, so he's just taking care of leaks, and we're gonna get that back in that car so that car can run too. Front brakes just bolted right up. However, in the rear, there's a minor issue which I knew I might run into. I thought it was the actual drums needing to be adjusted. But when you go to put it on, it doesn't push all the way back because oh. the dust shield is for the smaller brakes. So, um, I was probably just gonna take a grinder and just You think that's the easiest way, Alberto? Yeah, it's probably the easiest to just cut around just the yep. edge and just leave the back wall. Yeah, because uh, not that it necessarily needs it. I could cut it closer down here, but then it's gonna be a pain because of uh, all of this stuff will be easy to cut. Will this get in the way of the bracket for the caliper? Or uh, it no, it should be fine, the way that the calipers bolt on, but I will try the caliper first, that's a good idea. Yeah, try that. Right, let's see. Yeah, so I'm gonna need to clearance this a bit as well. Not a ton, but uh, I'll just kind of widen that opening. Honestly, dude, I might just like cut it around that inner edge. So what I will do, look, what? just literally go straight line from here, mm -hmm. like this one, and cut all the way around, and then do the same thing on the back right here, and it yeah. should be fine. So I think I know what's wrong with your with your plate. What's wrong with my See plate, this Alberto? Thing is like, it's like, I don't know. Whoa! Whoa. You think? I think that's what's wrong with your play. Your play caught on fire. Wow. Whoa. Fire. <laughs> See, magic. <laughs> what do you got behind your back? Nothing. What do you got behind your back? Nothing. I bet the smoke detector is going to go off. What smoke detector? We don't have any. <laughs> nope. <laughs> I wish I was filling up, but I just went and grabbed the plate and then it caught a fire in his hands. <laughs> How do I grab it? Dude, that's like a pool of brake cleaner right there. What are you doing? Not the good tool. Alberto, <laughs> don't put that anywhere near the fuel. <laughs> what are you doing?
anymore. I got a tripod to steal your job. <laughs> All right, so I painted the stuff that I had to grind and cut, adjusted the drum, and voila. Nice and greasy. I'll clean those off. A couple boxes of cool stuff came, but one of them is actually for the Z, like I told you guys. Jesus, God. Weak. Dude, this tape is sharp. Do you have a razor blade literally in your hand? No, it's like right there. It's moist. Be, be careful. Watching this? <laughs> Sucks. All right. Now we got seats for the Z. Wait. This is what I think they are? I think they are. Is this? Are they what I did there? Yes. Oh, you did it again. Yep. Some sick carbon backs for the oh, Z. Oh my gosh. Surprising. The ones in my car are way better. Can you make this white again, Shulman? Yep. Okay, sick. So I got some used uh, good old Lomaxes. Some real climbables. I like these as uh, kind of street car option. So this is going to be sick. Not obviously like a sick drag race option. I was thinking about possibly like maybe putting these in the chaser because they're better for drifting. They hold you in place a little bit better than putting their cars in that. But for now, these are gonna go in that. Last missing piece that's the reason why this hasn't been done yet. Uh, we need to grab, we needed to grab some lines. So Matt was able to stop by in Juku and get some ISR conversion lines to convert the standard lines to the Akabono brakes lines. So all you gotta do is pop these on, we should be good to go. So I'm finishing up the brake install, just doing the lines. I had to bend these clips a little bit to get them in. Alberto's working on the RB. We're gonna go to see uh, the Ford versus Ferrari movie later. And then Shulman and Sharon are over here doing a Christmas tree. Yeah, so we got our own little shop Christmas tree. Um, guys, the star is crooked, what's up with that? Uh, we are not wow, that's a limp. It's a Stop it. Let me get up there. That's a limp star if I've ever seen one. You start from the bottom? <laughs> <laughs> you start from the bottom? <laughs> <laughs> you got insurance. So the plan is to decorate the tree with lots of like ornaments and stuff. Titanium is one of the few things we have that's light enough to not fall over. So we might need to reinforce that a little bit, but dude, that actually looks like a sick star. Look at fingerprints on the tie, dude. Guys, no, that's not. No, it'll stay. <laughs> it'll stay. Uh, no. No, no, no. We, I don't want to leave a balance like that, but like we can definitely make that work. Literally just finished bleeding the brakes. We're gonna have to split out of here to go check out the movies, but I'm excited to see what it looks like with the wheel on there. It's probably gonna look pretty cool, especially with that cool little dent up there. I'm not gonna have time to do the seats today, so I'll probably do that tomorrow morning and test out the brakes but uh, I think they should look cool in the car, especially once they get all cleaned up. Some of my favorite seats for a street car right there. Gracias. ¿Qué aquí, quieres? Aquí. 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 Gracias. Okay, dale. Oh, please fit, please fit, please fit. Ah, that looks yeah. sick. Heck yeah. Yeah. <laughs> look at them brakes. Sweet. <laughs> All right guys, I know compared to all the stuff that's been going on these past couple days, it's been a bit of a slower video, but we got some cool stuff done. I'm excited to try these out. I'm excited to take this thing for a rip and do everything that I plan with it. Tomorrow we got a lot of stuff. Actually, since we're going to the drag strip tomorrow, maybe I'll combine some of the footage in the morning. So ignore everything I just said. This video is gonna keep going, I think. I'm ripping the Porsche. Alberto's ripping the Supra. Hope he likes it. Let's see if Alberto gets on it. Curious what this thing sounds like from the outside. What do you think? It it's fun, right? Up top, I think the red one's faster, but this one's just zippy. Yeah. Hey, bro, your girl likes my car better. We should trade. <laughs> and I'm not talking about cars. <laughs> <laughs> I got him. <laughs>